Um, you know, for you guys as a defense out of the gate in that first half, how big of a point of, of emphasis was it to kind of build up momentum you had against Michigan and, you know, shut down? Uh, we just know we had to keep feeding off the energy we um, started off with last week. And uh, going into this game, we knew we had to come in, play hard, and get this one and zero mentality. And that's what we did today. We showed up, we balled out, and we're on to next week, one and zero. Johnny Collins. Hey Joey, what, what what specifically are you guys doing defensively that's that's a little different than you were doing earlier in the season? I mean, t teams haven't been able to throw on you guys the last couple of weeks. Is, is, is there been a big difference with what you guys are doing? Or is it just basically the same stuff done better? I'll say same stuff done better in the mix with um, we're just all playing together um, as a unit. We're all flying around to the ball. We're all trying to make that tackle, make that play. We're all just working together. And um, I feel like we've just been stepping up every week, playing as one each and every week. Tyler Donahue. Hi, Joey. Thank you for your time. Um, this is game four without Tariq on the field. Uh, it's all the second year cornerbacks. How much have you guys grown up in the past month? Oh, yeah, we've grown up a lot. Um, none of us knew it was going to be in this position where all the young guys had to play. Uh, and I feel like we all stepped up this year. And so has Rick, even though he hasn't been on the field, he's been stepping up off the field with coaching and everything. So I'm um, just hats off to him and hats off to the coaches, trusting all of us young guys to go out there and ball. David Eckert. Hey, Joey, how you doing? Good. Um, you know, when when the the elements are kind of limiting what both offenses can do, really, as far as throwing the ball down the field, and it kind of creates, you know, a little bit more of a physical game. Is that fun playing for you guys? Do you, do you like that? Um, for us, if we know that they can't get the ball down the field and we know it's going to be a running game, yeah, it's fun to us. Because if we can't get our work, with the passing game, we're going to get our work in the running game. We just got to put our hard hats on and be physical. Cause that's, and people think us corners are not physical enough. So we're just out here trying to show them that we're physical just as everybody else. Thomas Frank Carr. Hey, Joey. Um, it seemed like ja Jaquan Brisker was around the ball pretty much the whole game. Was that something going in a part of the game plan? Or is that just him, like you talked about earlier, rallying to the ball and making play when he had the opportunity? That's just him rallying into a ball. I mean, the calls put us in those situations for him to be around the ball. But after that, that's just him being a ball a fanatic and him going after the ball. Donnie Collins. Yeah, two questions, Joey. Uh, how, how much does Jaquan being around the ball kind of change what, what, what you guys could do on defense, bringing that, that kind of aggressive mentality? And the second one is on the fourth and ones. You guys have been on quite a roll with those. Uh, last two weeks, what, what, you know, what, is, is that kind of just momentum building there too, or, is, or what, what are your what are your uh, attitudes on those plays? Um, for the calm, um, for busy play, um, just him flying around to the ball makes everybody else want to fly around to the ball and make that tackle. I mean, he's around the ball, he's sniffing out the ball every time it comes his way. That just makes everybody else just as hungry to make that tackle. And uh, for the four for one stops. Um, I feel like we just got the understanding that it's four for one and it's either y'all getting the first or it's us stopping y'all. And I feel like we count on ourselves every time. People want us to keep going for that four for one. We're going to be here to stop it every time. Tyler Donahue. Did you have another question? I do. Sorry, I, don't I think do. I Thank you. Okay, perfect. Joey, uh, Daquan Hardy came up with another sack today. It seems like uh, he's really finding his rhythm out there, playing in the slot as well. Um, you and him didn't play a lot last year. What's it like to, to see him making these steps just like you're making big steps? Oh, that was great. See another guy from Pittsburgh making these type of plays. It's kind of fun to watch. I mean, I'm rooting for him. I know he's rooting for me. So just seeing him out there running around, it's great. It's fun to see. We always dreamed about it. We talked about it and we're doing it. So. <clears throat> Frank Bodani. Hey, Joey, uh, you guys are 0 and 5, some struggles on defense. Can you talk about not just how, you know, how you how you came together and kept moving forward? What's the secret defensively when it'd be easy to kind of lay back the other way? Can you describe the progress and how the last couple of weeks? Um, everybody in this locker room is not quit us. We're not known for that. This program not known for that. And we knew people was going to turn their backs on us and look the other way. So we would just keep fighting. 
when people not even looking, we just got to keep fighting and that's what we're going to keep doing. Um, people don't believe in us now. That's fine. We're going to keep doing our job and keep going one and up. So that's the goal. David Eckert. David, go ahead whenever you're ready. We'll come back to you, David. Uh, we'll move on to uh, Dave Jones. Joey, uh, why has the tackling been better lately, the last two games especially, and what kind of uh, detriment was the lack of contact work, especially for, for freshmen like you early or all the young players? Uh, we just knew we had to step up. I mean, we can't just rely on the fronts to keep making all the tackles. We knew that sooner or later, we're going to have to put our big boy pants on and make some of these tackles for them. And that's what we've been doing. Uh, we've been more physical. And everybody just been stepping up and making the plays they have, that they have to make. Ben Free. Hey, Joey. Um, just from like a mentality confidence standpoint, um, where do you think or how different do you think the team is now from, you know, say two, three weeks ago? And what do you think? I mean, obviously winning helps, but what do you think they're kind of helped flip that switch for you guys? Uh, what really helped when everybody turned their back on us, uh, we have to just look at ourselves and look at our team and just be like, we're the only ones who could pull us out of the situation that we're in. And after realizing that and after all come together as a team, we finally realized that um, it's all on us. I mean, nobody else can help us but us, and we're the only ones that can fix it. And that's what we've been doing. That's what we're going to keep trying to do. This will be uh, the last question for Joey. We'll go to Tyler Donahue. Joey, I know you're not allowed to discuss injuries or anything like that, but Tariq Castro Fields has been so close, it seems, to playing for four straight weeks, putting on the uniform, traveling to these games, but not getting in the game. Um, how do you keep him positive? How does he keep you guys? How does he stay a leader, even though he's not playing? Um, he just he just a leader on and off the field. I mean, you don't really find a lot of certain guys like that. Some guys would just, you know, go in a tank because they can't really play. But he stepped up. I mean, he's going to meet and showing us clips, talking about experiences he that had and did. And that really plays a big factor in all of our role because we're all just young guys trying to soak up as much information as we can. And him, Coach T and Viangelo just been giving us that. And we're going to just keep working off that. And when he comes back, he comes back, and he's just going to ball out like you always do.